So our lesson today is making a model to better understand something in science, a phenomena like why the moon looks different about every four or five days up in the sky. And to help you understand those phases of the moon, we're going to make a moon phase model. Uh, here are some of the materials right here that you should have, which is uh, everybody has scissors, a worksheet, a piece of chalk, two pieces of black construction paper, tape, about four inches of string, a white ball, and later we'll pass out the flashlights. So your worksheet here has to do with making a model of the moon phases, and it shows you some of the different phases. There's eight major phases we're going to look at today and make. And I want you to be able to go back to this to see, uh, as we make our model, how you can line up the eight different phases of the moon. Let's get started with uh, our two pieces of construction paper. First thing I want you to do is to fold this piece of paper lengthwise. Uh, some people call that a hot dog fold and try to get it uh, exactly like this. We're going to open it up and you see there's a crease down the middle there. And I want to cut this. Okay. We have two sheets that I'm now going to tape together. I'm going to overlap these. And my overlap, uh, I'm going to make the overlap about an inch or so. And I'm using four pieces of tape. One here, one here, I'm going to flip it over, and one here, and one here. Now, now that I've made my long piece of black construction paper, you can see that it's twice as long. I need to mark a midline on here. So the midline, I'm just going to, uh, you can use a ruler, but I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm going to kind of draw this straight down here like this. I'm using my chalk and I'm trying to get a nice midline. I'm going to divide this paper up into eight sections and I'm going to use as a measure my hand. And I've done this before so I know that my hand, I can use four fingers. You might have to use all five of your fingers and so mark one. Two, three, four should put me close to my tape. Five, six, there's my seventh and eighth with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? All right, so let's start with four. Four is going to be our full moon. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a, a full moon here and color it in. Okay. Five is the waning gibbous. So the waning gibbous is almost full, but not quite. This side right here is not quite full. Number six, last quarter, which looks like a half of a moon. Seven is going to be waning crescent. And it's just a small part like that. Number eight, I'm going to make it real small here, is a new moon. You wouldn't see anything. New moon. Now, up here, this whole side is called the waning, which means it started big and got smaller as it went. And over here is the waxing side. And we're going to start then with, if I look at my chart, number one is a waxing crescent. And the waxing crescent looks like this. And so I'm going to make that crescent look like that. And I'm going to call it waxing because we're waxing side crescent. Number two is getting bigger, and so that's a first quarter. First quarter. It looks like a half moon, but it's actually called the first quarter. And that leaves the last one, which even gets bigger, which is called a waxing gibbous, because it is getting very big. And it looks almost full, 
but not quite. Okay, so we have, we started here, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, now it's getting smaller, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and new moon. And we're going to end up in a moment cutting some holes and making it into a round sided moon model. So let me show you how we're going to cut these holes. Right above the full moon, I'm going to make a small hole right about there above the full moon. And I'm going to draw these on it because this is where the flashlight goes. This is the sun. You know, the sun is a star. Its name is Sol. So this is where our star is going to go. So I'm going to cut that out with my scissors. And I made it small, about the size of my um, little finger. And it's right above the full moon. Now, you might want to bend this and make a small cut. This is just small enough to shine the flashlight in. That's where my flashlight will end up being shined so I can uh, see the different phases. Now, we have to cut eight holes in this paper, one on this above each of the phases. Here's the first one's going to go here. Step one, fold it. Step two, make a long cut. Step three, make a short cut up. Step four, short cut up. And step five, fold up the tab or the window. Okay? So I'm going to do that again. Step one, cut. Fold, cut, cut, cut. Fold up. Be careful when you get to the sun. Roll, cut, 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 fold up. Puts the eight windows in. So now we've cut our windows into this and our place for our sun. It's time now to roll this around and overlap it so it looks like this. I'm going to line up the two parts and once again use four pieces of tape, two on the outside and two on the inside. This will give it more stability and we end up with our moon model sphere, the sides of it labeled. Now we needed two sheets of paper. So the, the second sheet of paper, we're going to lay it down on your desk. But we're going to put the moon sides upside down on this black piece of paper. And you want to make sure it overlaps a little bit along the edges here. And then I'm going to take my chalk and I'm going to outline this, make sure I overlap at least an inch so the lid, the top, doesn't fall through. So when you're finished, you have a piece that you have a piece that looks like this. Now on one side, we're going to write moon phase model. And you can decorate that with different phases of the moon. And uh, the other side, in the middle, we're going to put a dot. That's going to be their center. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Remember, you want this to be a little bit larger than the sides of your moon model because you don't want this falling in. So it's Remember that dot I put on the side here? Well, it's time now to add our white styrofoam ball and a small piece of string. Now, I start with about four inches, but we don't know exactly how much we need until we do some measurements. So I'm going to take a small piece of tape and tape this onto my styrofoam ball. With this, I can show rotation and revolution. We have to determine how far down to hang this ball. I want this ball to hang down right about there so I can see it and mark it with my finger so I know that's where I want to tape. And if you want to cut off that extra, you can. I now have this moon phase that will hang down underneath my sides. And this one upside down, 
you turn this upside down and we want to use four pieces of tape to tape this together. So here's one piece of tape and fold it like that. Rotate it around. Second piece of tape. And you see how I'm not overlapping. I'm leaving a little bit of lip right here. Third piece of tape. Right about here on this far side. What we have to do now is find the hole with the sun, which would be on the full moon. Use our flashlight. Shine the flashlight in there and look in down inside of the different openings. You should be able to see all eight phases of the moon. Use your model. Use the night sky to help explore the phases of the moon.